On my last visit to the island of Skye in Scotland in 2020, we were blessed with sublime conditions as Storm Dennis hit the north of the UK and produced some of the most dramatic and changeable storm weather I have photographed. It is now 2022 and a sense of normality around the alphabet virus has allowed a return trip back to Skye. Coincidentally, this visit coincides with Storm Dudley and Storm Eunice hitting the UK, but unfortunately, these storms made landfall much further south than expected. As such, it gave us plenty of opportunity to embrace the grey. I hope you enjoy this little video. Good morning YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So as promised, here is my first video on my first day in the Isle of Skye. Um, well, it's not my first day, we traveled up overnight um, and yesterday was a, a day just trying to uh, get my bearings, uh, recover some sleep and have a bit of food. But uh, today marks the very first day of the full day on the Isle of Skye and our first uh, visit, and my first visit to uh, the Kerrang. Now, I've seen this uh, location many times on social media. It's one of those uh, honey spot locations in the Isle of Skye, which uh, many photographer who's worth any salt at all will have been to and taken some photographs of. Uh, and so this is my first time doing this. However, I, I do find being exposed to such locations on social media kind of spoils it somewhat. And, um, and, and you run the risk of um, just repeating what everybody else has done. So and that really goes against my grain so i try not to whenever i go to a, a location which is highly visited or even a, a location which is not i always try to find my own angle and i always try to put my own stamp on the images i make from said locations and I, hopefully this will be no different so what i've done we've parked up at the uh, the car park and we've made our way up the uh, the main path uh, which has been laid down and i've come to a, a position where it descends down into a gully and back onto the other side few members of my party have already carried on up um, but it's not really what I want to do I want to do something different so I've got myself a nice vista um, with the sunlight coming from this way towards me and I'm hoping uh, although it's broken cloud um, I'm hoping some of that golden light will make it through onto the landscape below and hopefully I'll make it for some good images so I'll quickly show you what I'm looking at um, and hopefully you'll enjoy the view and then I'll show you what, how I've got it set up on my camera and, uh, and the image I'm taking. So uh, catch you in a second. So I'm looking for my composition to get set up. I really like how this ridge line here works. The, going up to these, uh, uh, this rock fall it's in the far left. That looks really nice. But I also like how the clouds are pulling over across this way into the landscape. Got a nice bit of uh, sunlight coming in across the sky here uh, and some nice cloud textures in, right in the distance. So I think I'm gonna get set up here, maybe take a shot that way first and then maybe shot that way second. So this one little vantage point gives me two angles, 180 degrees um, with some foreground interest as well. So I think I'm gonna do that. So let's, uh, let's get set up. I think, yeah, this will be a good position. So guys, you have to excuse me, but uh, my knowledge of the local landscapes, the names of the peaks and the hills and the mountains is, is limited. I'm never very good at this sort of thing. So as usual, as many of you who know me will know, I just refer to things like big pointy thing and big puddle of water to, to name a lake or whatever. So uh, excuse my ignorance. Uh, it's probably a lack of intellect, poor schooling, blame it what you will, but that's just who I am. So here we go. Um, but anyway, to describe my first composition, what I've got set up here, I've got some lovely uh, mosses uh, falling down this cliffside, which has given a lovely strong diagonal up into the hill. And then from that, I've got an, uh, an opposite angle cutting back out with a large uh, cliff in front of me with some lovely clouds coming over the top. And then that drops down into another ridge and peak and then down to the, these bodies of water in front. And I think that makes for a really nice image. 
Um, currently, I've got set up on uh, my Pentax K1. I have the Pentax uh, 15 to 30 ultra wide angle lens. I'm currently zoomed in at around about 30 millimeter uh, settings wise, um, around about 180th of a second, uh, around about 7.1 on the aperture and uh, ISO 100. And uh, I think that makes for a rather nice image. The warm light of the morning sun kept finding holes within the fast moving clouds above, providing small windows of opportunity to photograph pools of sunlight as they spilled onto the dark landscape below. I simply couldn't resist photographing these moments. So folks, I've uh, been uh, up and down this path trying to find new compositions. I think I've got some nice images. Um, I've done a, a nice vertical uh, stacked image with some nice foreground mosses leading through all the way into the background. And you can hopefully see the, uh, the large, large uh, rock stack up over there. That was ultimately the, the background of that image, which hopefully has been um, focus stacked through and it should look quite nice. I think I'm going to carry on shooting uh, this direction. The sun is now behind some cloud over there uh, and there's some nice mist coming in from the very top left corner that keeps drifting through. Um, I'm going to put up a few more images for you as I take them. I hope you enjoy them and uh, I'll catch up with you later.
So to bring the morning on day one to an end, thanks so much for watching. Uh, take care all, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.